So you've missed your green with your approach shot and you've left yourself a lofted chip shot. Now it's really important that you consider the lie because you just can't use one technique for every single shot around the greens, I'm sad to say. In this video, I'm gonna show you the basic lofted chip shot technique and I'm gonna show you a few different adaptations you can use in different lies so that you get the ball on the green more often, get up and down a bit more, and shoot lower scores. Before we get into the video, if you're new here, if you could please hit that subscribe button. I release new videos like this every week that I'm fairly sure are gonna help improve your game. Right, let's get to the video. The basic lofted chip shot. Now, this shot in front of me, I probably wouldn't use a lofted chip shot, but I just wanted to find a fairway lie so I could show you the basic address and how I would play this shot. So the first thing I'm gonna do in order to take the ball high is move the ball position forwards, probably even off my front heel. Now that might sound quite significantly forwards, but I have such a narrow stance on these shots that moving the ball to my left heel isn't quite as extreme as it sounds. The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to twist the face open, probably 10 to 15 degrees, because although I've got a 58 degree wedge, which has plenty of loft, if I actually have to go over something, then I need as much loft as I can manage. So opening the face a fraction is just gonna help me pop the ball up in the air a bit quicker, land it a bit softer, and it won't run out quite so much. Now, the real key here is how close you stand to the ball. So, whereas a normal shot, I'm gonna stand with my arms hanging down in a normal posture. For a lofted chip shot, I'm gonna move real close to the ball, and I'm gonna get my hands pointing almost between my belly button and my sternum up nice and high. The reason I do this is because there's just a bit more relief on the toe of the sole of the club, and what that allows me to do is to have more margin for error when hitting these shots so I can hit the, the ground behind the ball and the club is going to skid along the grass and I'm going to still hit a reasonable shot. I don't like to see people far away with the hands low because I've always found that the heel of the club tends to dig in, it tends to hit the ground slightly early which either shuts the face, sends it left or it just hits the ground and stop. Now it is the middle of summer at the moment, so the ground is really firm here in the UK. So you might get away with that shot a little bit this time of year, but actually as it gets softer, spring, autumn, winter, you're gonna hit loads of fat shots and we just don't, can't have that. So I'm gonna get nice and close to the ball. I've got a narrow stance. I've got the ball off my front foot. I've got the face slightly open, my hands nice and high. Now I'm just gonna make a nice wide swing, a bit like Steve Stricker, and I'm just going to brush the grass and that ball's going to get in the way and pop up in the air. So that ball flew nice and high, it's just missed. Flew nice and high, flew most of the way there, it's landed, it's stopped and I've hit that to about four feet, which I'm absolutely ecstatic about. So I'll just show you that again. So I'm going to open the face before I grip the club. I'm going to stand nice and narrow with the ball in line on my left heel. And then I'm going to step up to the ball so that my hands are nice and high, grip pointing up towards my sternum. And then I'm just going to make a nice wide swing and sweep the grass. Another really nice high one. It's landed it's with a bit of spin that one, so it's just come up a bit short. But again, I'd be really happy with that shot. If I can just get the ball inside 10 feet from around the greens, I'm constantly going to give myself looks and I'm going to get up and down more. And the key really when you're hitting a lofted chip shot is getting the ball on the green and not making a double. That's the key. So one more time, basic lofted chip shot, grip 10 degrees open, narrow stance ball forwards, nice and close to the ball with my hands up nice and high, and then wide swing, sweeping the grass. So that was a good one, example because I've fatted that, I've dumped into the ground early, but because I've used the bounce a little bit on that toe side, the club has skidded along the grass, it still collected the ball, it's landed a bit shorter, but with a little bit less spin, it's then run on to about, again, it's about five feet away. So I'm pretty happy with that. Right, let's move on to a rough lie now and let's see what we have to change there. Okay, so moving now on to a rough lie, sort of semi-rough. What we have to be aware of here is we are often gonna get grass trapped between the club and the ball. So we are gonna have to hit this ball a bit harder. We know that the ball's gonna come out with less spin. So it's gonna run a lot more. So you have to adjust your landing zones when you're lying like this. So what I'm gonna do, because I know the ball's gonna come out lower with less spin, is I'm gonna open the face probably 30 degrees or such. And instead of standing close with my hands nice and high, I'm now gonna get a bit further away, get a bit wider, and I'm gonna pick the club up steeper because I want to try and minimize the amount of grass trapped between the club and the ball. And when I'm swinging, I'm really focusing on trying to 
find the ground underneath the grass. I'm trying to get the club under the ball. I'm not trying to strike the ball. I'm almost trying to get underneath it. So I'm going to open the face up. I'm going to soften my knees, get myself a bit lower, and I'm going to pick the club up a bit steeper. And that's going to send that ball up in the air. Still going to run out plenty. That was quite a good one. It's landed nice and close. This is all sort of lie dependent. So you want to try and practice out of a variety of different lies. If I give myself a real stinker there, that one's basically plugged. The worse the lie gets, the more I'm going to sort of open the face and try and pick the club up a bit steeper. That one's come out dead. So that one's going to chase through the back. Flew that one a bit far. Best way to practice is actually just to drop the ball in. A bit like it would land. So this is a real smelly one. So I've got a massive clump of grass that is definitely going to get trapped between the club and the ball. So I'm going to go open. I'm going to try to get even steeper. I might soften my knees a little bit more and really try and it's almost becomes a bunker shot here. So open face, further away, I'm a bit lower. Nice steep backswing. Yeah, that one's come out really dead, but that's gonna chase on. So, so you've got to take a view by checking the lie, making a judgment as to how bad the lie is, how much grass is gonna get trapped between the club face and the ball, and make a view there as to how much you want to sway away from our basic standard technique. But if the lie gets worse, the face gets more open, and the swing gets a little bit steeper. So we're really in the jungle now. Uh, the grass is above my ankles or even up to my knee. So I've really got problems. And if I've hit my approach shot in here, I'm gonna be quite annoyed and I've done something massively wrong. So, but we'll talk about that in another video. So these shots, we're gonna play just like we would play a bunker shot. So we're gonna open the face really wide, 45 degrees open, as wide as we can, because the club is gonna get wrapped up in the grass and it's gonna twist and shut down. So. Open the face as much as you can. I'm still gonna have my ball forward, but I'm now gonna put more weight forward because I'm, we're trying to get less grass in between club and ball. And I'm gonna pick this club up almost vertically or what feels like vertically to me, and then drop it in on the back. And I'm gonna hopefully get this ball up, moving forwards, get it on the green. So nice open face, up nice and steep. And I'm gonna stab that out. There is gonna be zero spin coming out of this grass. So you really have to be careful about where you're gonna land it, how you're gonna run it up to the hole. Although they're difficult lies, they actually become easier because they're more like a bunker shot where you're just trying to hit almost behind the ball to send it up and send it forwards. So wide open face, weight forwards, vertical swing, and bunker shot it out there. Oof, that's come out with no spin. It's landed short and that might actually run through the back. That was a pretty grim lie. You can see here, the ball's always gonna come out. It's always gonna go forwards and it's gonna get me close to the hole. And hopefully I'm gonna hit one and then two putts and get down for three. And if you're in a lie like this, we're really in damage limitation mode. So it's not about trying to get it close. It's just about trying to get it on or give yourself a chance to, to get down in three. Hopefully that all makes sense. I've shown you the basic chip shot. I've shown you some adaptations for a rough lie and a really heavy rough lie. If you take those things out into the course, then I'm confident you are gonna go shoot lower scores. Thanks very much for watching the videos. If you can please like and comment to boost the engagement and subscribe if you don't already, that'd be great. If you like what I put out in these videos, you like what I say about technique, I can actually help you with your game no matter where you are in the world. So if you just wanna click the link in the bio, it'll take you to Skillist, which is an online coaching platform. And there you can look to see what I do and actually I can help you with your game, so analyze your swing, give you some drills and tips to help you improve so we can work together to help you lower your handicap. But anyway, let's get back to the video.